Uh, Oké, okay, I am back with an update on Matthew. And um, I have been talking to him for hours now. And he seems to be very confused. And I don't know. As if he doesn't know where he is, what to do. Um, I showed him this card. Which is all about coming together and celebrating life and um, be belonging to a happy family and um, things like that. So I'm going to focus on the card and then try to talk to Matthew who is uh, alone. So I'm not really... I'm trying to talk to him. And I'm going to try to talk to him now again. And I am recording this so you know um, how I do this and how things uh, work out or go or... Uh, my English sucks again today. Um, well, my English sucks big time. Um, but I'm trying. Um, like I said before, I'm from the Netherlands and I um, struggle sometimes with finding the right words and things like that. So right now, that's what me and Matthew have in common. Now, I mentioned in the video before that he was lying in the sand. So I am... Um, he dropped on his knees, fell forward and then uh, placed his right side or fell on his right side and um in the sand and there were a couple of rocks so matthew um matthew i'm back and i know you're still there do you remember me i'm a friend of jason and renee and I had this yesterday, the whole day that I had to, you know, cry and cry and cry. So he seems to be upset and sad about something. Um, Matthew, what's going on? Please talk to me. We have talked for two hours this afternoon, early afternoon. And it's now 3 p.m. and I'm back. And I want to talk to you because people are looking for you and you are missed and they want you back. So what's going on Matthew? I know you fell forward. So what's causing you to have issues with speaking? You're in the ground. Are you on the ground or are you in the ground? You're half in the ground and half on the ground. So the place where I saw you the first time, is that where you died? Do you know if you're dead or alive? You're dead. Okay. And now you're sad and you want to go back to your family. And they want to have you back. They want you to come back. They want to find you. So can you please help me? Because I can't do this alone. I need your help with this. Yes, and I promise I'm going to do an angelic healing because I know you're ready, almost ready now. So, but that's for tomorrow. Just want to talk to you just for a little bit, a little bit longer. And I know you're tired, and you know, I know you're sad, and you, I know you want to go back to your family. So, can you speak? You're sending your mouth. And it's on your tongue, and it's between your teeth. And it's in your mouth, and it's stuck on your... So you have trouble talking. I know, it's hard. So the place where you are now, is that where your family can find you? You were moved.
you were removed. Somebody moved you. Was that one person? No. Two? No. Three? Three people. There were three people when you died. Did they kill you? You don't know. Did they use a knife? You don't know. Did they use a gun to threaten you, to kill you? No. Did they hit you on the head? No. Does your head hurt? No. Your heart hurts. Did, do, did, did, does your heart hurt? Is that why you have issues with angelic healings? Your heart hurts, so I will go very slow and be very gentle. Yes, I promise. I will be very gentle and go slow and one step at a time. It doesn't have to happen in 30 minutes. I can, you know, I can work on that all, all day, all week, as long as you need. But you want it, okay. That's a good, uh, that's a good thing. So. The place where you drop down on your knees, was that because of an attack? I'm just going to repeat a couple of questions because I want to make sure that I am, you know, getting the right answers from you. You weren't hit on the head, but you were threatened with a knife. Were you scared? You weren't scared. And then your heart gave up. And you dropped to the ground and then you're lying there. So they moved you. Mo did they move you with a car? They didn't use a car. You don't remember if they put you in a car. Yes, they <laughs> should have called 911, I know. <laughs> um, that makes me cry and sad. So there you are, all alone, surrounded by three people that don't act and they're waiting, okay? What are they waiting for, for you to die? They didn't know what to do. So what was the issue about? You're showing me a map, but it's very blurry. So you should be within 60 kilom uh, miles. You're using miles, not kilometers. 60 miles, that is not a big, from your home. No, not from your home. So let's, let's go back together. You stepped in a great car. It's a pickup. Is that what they use in the US? And there's a dog in the back. So how did you get there? Can you remember? You stepped in a, st a pickup truck, a gray one. With the three people. With two people. So were they all men? A man and a woman. And where did they take you? You were in the car with them. To the place where you dropped down. And there was another man. A woman. So there were two women and a man. A man and a woman and a, is, are a couple. And they drove you to see another woman. She older than you, about the same age. And it was about money and they threatened you. And then you fell down on the ground. And now you've got, you've got sand in your mouth. And then they moved you. Did they transport you to, to another place with the car? So from the place where you drop down on your knees, it's 60 miles, about 60 miles radius. Are there, is there more sand? 
and rocks. I don't know Missouri. <laughs> I've, I've been to the US, uh, Virginia, and I had family in Virginia Beach. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I saw Washington and North Carolina. <laughs> I don't know where Missouri is. I really don't know where Missouri is. I don't know the area at all. So there are trees, big trees. Okay. And the, can you, when you, were you, there's something I don't understand, Matthew. Were you in the car or weren't you in the car? At first you were in the car. Okay. So from what you remember, you are within, from where you drop down on your knees, within a 60 mile radius. And they didn't use a car. And there was a dog. Was the dog aggressive or what kind of dog was it? A big dog. Can you say something about the breed? Was it a bully type of breed? No. Shepherd, German Shepherd, Belgian Shepherd. No. Whose dog was it? The girl's dog. Do you know a name? No. Okay. You don't remember the name. Okay, but maybe tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah. Because we're going to talk some more. Because I like your company. <laughs> I like talking to you. And your family, family misses you. They want you back. <laughs> I know you want to go back. You can go back. Not physically for now, but in spirit. But you have to come out of the sand. And that's why I'm going to do the healing. That's right. So they dragged you somewhere. But how? You're not exactly, you don't remember. Maybe the woman's car, but when they try, try to move you, were you still alive? You were still alive when they tried to move you, but they didn't call 911. Very remote area. No, I don't know Missouri. I absolutely have no idea where it is. Matthew, no, don't go to sleep now. No, don't. Please stay awake for a little bit longer. Renee sent me. She wants to know how you are. Yes. Yes. She's worried sick. I know you want to go back. I can't bring you back to life with the healings. No, I can't, sorry. You have to help me here a little bit, okay? So the road, okay, you're showing me the road now towards the place where you collapse, which is through hills or mountains and there is a river or water or something. Is it a canal? No, it's a river, I think. It's a great place for fishing. Are you sure you are in Missouri? You are, okay. Well, in the Netherlands, the roads are quite small and we don't have hills, not even close. Everything's flat. <laughs> I know, everything is small and flat. We don't have big roads over here. Everything sort of is, you know, like a knot coming together, overlapping and I don't see any, you're not in a city. You're not in a town, you're not in a city. You're out there in the middle of nowhere, but there is a big road. 
Why is there a big road if there's nothing there? <laughs> it's an American thing. You have a great sense of humor. Okay, the road is going this way, like a snake through the environment. Can I look up Missouri for just a bit? I don't even know where it is. Maybe that helps me a little bit with... Uh, I don't have no idea where it is. I'm going to show you the map in a bit. You're in the middle of nowhere and there is a river. And there is a road sort of going through the landscape like a snake. So how far are you from home? Yes, you... You stepped into a grey pickup kind of car with a dog in the back and a man and a woman to meet a lady that's older than you. I can't hear your. I know you have sand in your mouth. You're tired. I know you're tired. I think we should... What's with your leg? So you are not in a ditch or halfway in. That's why you say, think you are in the ground and not on the ground. They sort of threw you out there. Were you still alive at the time? You were. You just couldn't fight your way back. It was your heart. And they left you there. They didn't do anything. They didn't to take you to the hospital, to a doctor or a ranger or whatever you have there. Okay, Matthew, hang in there for just a couple of... Okay, it started out as, Matthew, please wait just a little bit longer before you go to sleep, okay? I'm going to wake you up next thing in the morning. But wait a little bit longer, you know? I want to show Renee and Jason some cards. Yes. So it started out as a sort of a battle, but in a friendly, competitive type of way. The whole issue. Um, then somebody tried to steal, was being sneaky, uh, having it behind the elbows. That's um, Dutch for trying to get away with something. And he is the guilty one. It's a man. Yes. And he decided to leave you place you in another location and leave you again. Okay, I'm going to keep these cards here. Um, are you sure, Matthew, that you weren't stabbed in the back? Literally. Matthew? 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 He's gone. So I have to try again tomorrow. So this is a little bit of a weird video. But this is how I... Um, try to communicate with somebody who's gone and who's missing. So I hope this helps a little bit. Um, he's gone, the connection is broken, connection is gone, lost. 
So I have to try again. I promised him that I would do a, an angelic healing tomorrow and go slow. But I will talk you th uh, through the process when it's done. Another thing that I want to do is give him a little bit of a, you know, kick or spunk or a little bit of power to give me some more information about where exactly he is. And there was something about a wallet, but he never mentioned it to me. Not in the two hours that I worked on it before and not now. So um, I'm going to read emails again. Leave these cards here and ask him more about this after I did the healing. So that's it. Um, bye.